Yeah, here we go. Okay. Yeah. Not bad. I was going to hunt you on the street. I just Before. You. Uh, you were on TV last night. I was. CTV in the Rob Costello house. Yeah. Very emotionally honored to be there and to present them to ten thousand dollars to so they can buy beds for the. Uh, uh, for the patients, uh, ten, 10 people can go Where do you get $10,000? Where was that from? Where did it come from? It came from uh, each MLA was given uh, some money from RDC and they can put that towards any non-profit community in their riding or outside the riding. I've helped uh, other ridings such as Frederick and South in the, the food kitchen uh, to buy a new fridge. I've helped the uh, Partners for Youth. Uh, they wanted to buy canoes. And the Boys and Girls Club up in... Uh, this is not a making you look good video, but... No, no, anyway. no, I'm just telling you. No, no. We've helped uh, Ducks Unlimited. Uh, okay, let me... You were a cop for how long? 25 years, last a couple of days. Okay. I said this when I first heard it last month. I saw you last night. I said, I'm going to hunt him down on the street, but here we are here. Should they... What's that home? It's the Costello House. What was it for? Costello House is uh, going to be started and named after Rob Costello, one of the police for? officers. So I'm going to I'm going to get that that yeah. so people might want to know what Costello House stood for. Um, there, the wife and some other people uh, want to build a house so people with mental challenges, mental illnesses, can go there to get help. Well, you agree in your 25 years of service, mm -hmm. uh, you had to deal with a lot of people with mental health. Problems? I would, I would say so. Yeah, I can't specifically come up Just with one. Just a couple, or uh, I, I can't come up with specific. In examples. those days, there was no ADHD, bipolar, Asperger. Oh, there was, there was there, no like what there, there was bipolar. There was bipolar and, and Aspergers. Yeah, because I taught school as well, and I, and I saw that. Twenty-five as well. years ago. Well, I don't know if they called it, uh, you know, 25 called years ago, but not, during my not career... Not mentally retarded. I never, I never used those terms. Well, they called that, they called me that. Well, hey, I, nobody knew about ADHD. I just think you're just Charles LeBlanc. Just Charles LeBlanc, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's extreme ADHD, but nobody knew about it in those days, right? Yeah, we're learning more and more each exactly. day, and that's why we have to do more and more today. Why would a place like that, mm -hmm. how many How many people would it help? I was told 10, but they're going to try and do more now throughout the province. Why would it be named after a cop? Why would it be named after a police officer? Because I think uh, the, the the wife, the, who's mourning uh, her husband's loss, mm -hmm. um, I mean, start, started that. Sorry, it's, it's no, a damn yeah, shame what happened. That. Uh, but I, I think it's a great way to honor police officers. Uh, police officers help people at yeah. everything. And I was one of those police officers. Very proud. Well, Charles, that's the, difference. that's the difference between you and I. What's the difference? I, I believe that I helped a lot of people. And I know there's a lot of police officers out there who helped a lot of people. So as simple as that. And I think it's wonderful that Rob Costello, don't be forgotten, and I think he, and in his career, he was one of those police officers that helped people. So you, you, Charles, I know you have a, a thing with police officers, but I mean, not okay, all police uh, officers uh, are bad. Never mind the, never mind the uh, period that he labeled lab me as a pedophile. Never mind that. Nope. But we're not condemning Rob Costello. That's right. We're saying any cop should they be a home named after a cop because a cop with mental a guy with mental issue right or is there females there or just men Where? just men or just female I, I i i don't know but i'm hoping it's both but mental issue they deal with cops yes the, the, so why the, would they because name? police officers are a resource in in the community to help people Charles, I know you don't like that. No, no, I didn't. It's because of, it's because of your background, but I. Well, I can, my I can background. Give you... What about their background? To well, come after me? Never mind me. Never mind okay, me. Okay, but again, it's about you. No, no, no! Absolutely <laughs> nothing. With and I me. think the people out there would agree that I think it's a great thing. Why are you focused on a name when when really no, should be? No, it's a good about... thing. But I'm yeah. saying, if a person with a mental issue, mm -hmm. illness, goes in there, and he just thinks of uh, naming this home Castello. Right. And it's a former cop, and you know, I mean, people would a lot of people maybe would that would affect their. I I don't know. I I I can't speak for other people, but I can tell you how many people come in this office, knowing that I'm a former police officer and in the role now as the the, the Frederick North MLA. You're come a to my psychologist. No? You listen to people. I know. You're so, a, you're a bad venture. You don't know that. You, you're and totally so, useless. You uh, can't do nothing. I, I, but you're a listener. I, they I come disagree, in here and the beautiful receptionist too. I I, dis no, I disagree with you. I, I have a lot to do. I, I've marijuana. done more is work. I've done use, more work. That's a marijuana, so I could calm down. No, I, I've done Riddler? more. I, no, I've done more work. I've done more work by sitting in my office and being in my community I'm surprised than that out you're there here. in why than out there in, in, in sitting in the legislature, as you said, backbencher.
yeah. and listening to, to, to us, and I've always said that, we, we need, I, I agree that the legislature has a role pass new bills, to work together, it's and make changing. life better for people in this province. Maybe you could fight now for a portable washroom across the street. Well, again, that's a municipal affair. You, you, did you notice, I don't see you uh, uh, praising anybody now because they got the uh, the shelters up by the uh, two nations crossing. Actually, there's two, one in East Street. Yes. Yes, I did. When? I, uh... Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> It's my turn to do that. Yeah, exactly. Anyway. Uh, no, no. Anyway. Yeah, we can fund the people it's, with mental illness. No, I, I've never, I, 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 never made, I would never do that. And, and you know I me. know that. I know that. Yeah. I, I, I'll take that back. Yeah. The, uh, yes, I mean. But again, I, I think it's a great thing. Look, I, I was just honored there. Uh, I, like I said, I, I, I miss Rob and I miss Sarah. Yeah, uh, we're not talking about that. No, no. But but again, the name. I, I think the name is is good. Um, you know, you name a bridge after them. Why? You know, you could you could talk about the negatives and positive, about everything. But these are two people who gave their lives yeah. to protect Memorial and serve people. Memorial Park, or yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and I think I think people with mentally Ill, mental illnesses and who will go there are not going to be concerned about who the building is named after. It's not. They're not. They won't get any flashbacks. From what? From being dealing, from dealing with, with the a cop, police officer, with the, pol the police are not uh -huh. angel there. You know that. Police officers are there, and I will always say this: police officers are there to help people. Fire, pl firefighters, uh, ambulance drivers. Look, <laughs> are you going <laughs> to <gonna, laughs> get everybody perfect? No, but I'll tell you, for the biggest part, and what I've seen, they've always been there to help people, and that's why I think. I think oh, I'm chasing a, hoping, a guy, I'm chasing geez. an Indian that's riding a bicycle with no helmet at two o'clock in the morning. Come Charles, on, get Charles, that, that, that was then. We got a new police chief now. Get Roger Brown, and, 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 and I'm hoping, Rob, and I'm, I'm hoping, hoping that he keeps uh, the the, the, um, the officers in the schools. The what? I know he's taking the police officers out of the schools at this point, yeah. but I think uh, I'm hoping uh, um, he puts them back in because I think it's just a great resource for students to not fear police officers. To go to other than a Charles teacher. Charles O'Blanc is out of control. Boy, this is turning out real good. <laughs> the receptionist, the receptionist said, there, you have a red button to the cops? <laughs> no, no, actually, cops actually, actually you know what? I was here. going to pick up my uh, leader here. You go to school, around, Charles O'Blanc is out of control. Okay? I wish I was. I couldn't stand still mm -hmm. in the classroom. Ne Are you falling asleep, DOG? Uh, and next thing you know, there's a cop there, and they know Charles O'Blanc, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if it goes on the computer. That right. we're having trouble with Charles of Long. When Charles of Long graduates, mm -hmm. they know exactly who Charles of Long is because they were in school all the time. When we grew up, we yeah. never seen one cop in the school system. Yeah. Not one. Another guy. Unless because we had day. discipline unless in those days. So, you go like this, yeah. bang so, Now, so Charles, that's, that's assault. So Charles. That's on video. My yeah. God, so Charles. So real. Charles. Times have changed, society has changed. And we need to use all the resources possible. And I think that it, back in the day, if a police officer, because we were afraid of police officers growing up. Yeah. Right? Yeah, we, we, should, we shouldn't be afraid of police officers. I, I use police officers. It could be firemen. It could be, uh, like we're I said, anybody, doctors. I'm afraid of my dentist, but I still look like that. Yeah, we all did. We all <laughs> so we shouldn't be afraid of these people who are there to help other people. No. And, I, and I think police officers get educated. And, and when I went to the police academy and spoke with uh, graduating students, it's not about charge, charge, charge. And I think police officers will agree with me that it's about listening to people first, uh, understanding what the, so for speeding, for example, if you're caught for speeding, they're teaching at the police academy that you should take it because you're speeding. Mm -hmm. But you have to get out of the car, talk to the person. Is the person going into an emergency? Are they, is there a fire? Communication. Is healthcare? Is, mm, so, communication. And, 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 and of course, uh, their attitude. There's none of that. And, and their attitude, right? Yeah. So I always tell people, I'm going to be around for 25 to 30 years. If you continue to do what you do, you're going to get a ticket. At this point, because of your story and this, I listen to you, attitude. I'll, I'll give you a like warning. Like you said, like I seen Stephen Burns last year. Yeah. Sarah husband. Uh, yeah, 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 Sarah, yeah, I Sarah husband. Yeah. And I seen Stephen. I never met him. So yeah, I said, yeah. hello, introduce. And then I said, uh, I said, do I have to introduce myself? Goes, no, no, Charles. Oh, okay. And then I talked. And then I told him, I said, you know what? Sarah wasn't stupid. No. And then he looks at me. He goes, no, Sarah. Sarah was a very smart cop. Sarah Burns. Mm -hmm. and he said, yeah. I said, you know why? Why? She wasn't stupid because she never made my shit list. Only the <laughs> stupid one comes after me. <laughs> and that ruins the reputation, the establishment. Is, supports, is, is forced to support 
the bad, the, the stupid ones. People. And that's the problem we're having, communication. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on. You label me as a pedophile. Charles, come on. I, what I, you do? No, we're talking about me, me, me. No, here. I Sorry. don't. But, but, but I'm they, talking about know, police officers over general. All, all but they're not like that and, anymore. They go after certain people to make their life miserable. Oh, I, I don't believe that. But we got a new police chief. Yes, we do. Roger, Roger Brown. Brown. I, I think he's going to do a wonderful job. I think job he's going to be the savior. Well, I don't know if he'll be I a savior so. or not, but I think he's going to do a good job, and he's always done a good job no matter he's where honest. he's gone. You know what I like? Of course he's honest. Do you know what I like? <laughs> uh, honest cop, can you imagine that? Do you know what I like about this? <laughs> <laughs> cop and a politician. DOG, get him. Yeah. Get him. Enough bullshit. Police dog. So, anyway, yeah, he is police dog. Uh, what I like about Roger is when the anniversary of the police, the officers, yep. the tragedy yeah, yeah, broadcast yeah, yeah, on yeah, and the two other yeah, citizens, civilians, yeah. Donnie and what's your name again? Uh, we have to. Sorry, just no, I, I, I know. got you on the spot there. Uh, right, right, uh, right. Your last name, I believe. Yeah. Anyway, okay, yeah. but those four people. Uh, the anniversary. Roger Brown wasn't around here. He wasn't around, like to say he didn't participate in the year end anniversary. Mm -hmm. uh, he didn't. He could have went there and said, "Well, I know the feeling." There was three police officers. I went through it uh, in a yes, month. And those three was, RCMP on, officers, yeah. and he he was really good to be the sport, the human side of a police officer. Absolutely. But he's not what you call a show off. So okay. what I'm trying to say is that could be, we have to, what you say, the police officer, not to be afraid of them. Maybe that attitude, maybe he could change that. I, I think he will. In, the, the police supposed to be a community person, somebody that you look up in a yeah. community. Yeah, I always put things in sports analogies because I played sports all my life. Look, at changing a coach or a general manager of a hockey team, people get a different attitude. And I think this is the same thing. Um, it's, tif it's difficult being a police chief. It's difficult being the premier. It's difficult being in any position where people can help people or not help people. It's, it's, it's always difficult. Look at security at the hospital. Yeah. That's a war zone in there. And, and Snobs, elitists, okay. drugs, well, mental illness. Yeah, they're all going there. That's all under the same roof. Yeah. And if a police, uh, a security guard goes like this, that's assault. Yeah. How do you handle it? So again, again, by communicating with people, uh, making sure people are safe. The only reason you communicated with me is because you're a politician. I mean, ha have I never communicated you as a police officer? You do one Charles, step, answer, you do no, one step, and, and I do ten. You and run answer, from me. You just no, go. I've yes, never, yes, I've never run there. from you. No, you never did. Tell the people I've always talked no, to you. No, he always talked to me. Yeah, yes. okay. There's only ten people that well, watch these right. videos. Anyway, yeah. don't worry about it. But they tell ten people, and they tell ten people. Me and DOG and you and a couple of other I've, people. I've never Trump ever had a problem these. with you, and I've never ever had no issues with you talking to me about things, and I'll always speak the truth. So how's your great leader? Bang, bang, Kevin, actually, bang, you, bang, bang. You've interrupted. I was just out the door going to pick him up. I want to show off uh, Frederick North. Does he know anything who's worse, worse than you? But, uh, Look, I, I think he's a great guy. And I'm not saying this because he's a liberal and I'm a liberal. And he don't you know, talk. I've never, he don't talk to the media. I, I've, never, I've never known a person who liked like him to say, look, he was a police officer as well. He shot somebody. Charles, he was doing his duty. I don't know what the situation was, but he was doing his duty. He was a police officer. He's brought police people together, First Nations people together, um, he's brought the French and the English together, On and what? this is what we need a leader to is do, that, is bring people together. How many? We're not together now? Well, what do you think? Yeah, we're together. People might say we're not. We, we're, we Who fight with that? each other. We fight with each other. Oh, because of that language commissioner. The people's alliance are saying, the people's room. alliance are drift. Uh, They're not we're that We're looking, bad we're looking, alliance. we're looking at the, the liberals alliance. of the north. I'm not saying there. I think anybody. Oh, gets you guys just get the, the North because you're fighting to have the, what's it no, called? Iron, no, the iron workers, no. or whatever. Maritime iron, iron. iron. Maritime yeah. iron. And then you want That's to say just, uh, like the the Acadians up north. They say, okay, my great great grandfather voted liberal, and I'm going to vote liberal also. Okay, you so we, have we, we you have say, debate. Excuse yeah, me, Charles. For a second. Before you say that, we could say the same thing. How are we doing? Are you fall asleep yet? No, we're going. So anyway, <laughs> you could say the same thing about the I'm south. Just kidding, you could say the same thing about the south. What? Oh, we always voted conservatives. Or, no, people have a good mind of their own. Young people today are yes. voting on their, on their own minds. David doing a good job. Uh, he, he's doing a good job, but he's being, uh, in my opinion, he's being wishy-washy. He doesn't understand. He can promise you the world. Yes, yes, yes. We yes. All so have that's to be what green. you're doing now. We, no, I've always told you the truth. Yeah, but you're I, in your I don't position. Myself you're a prom promise no, no. I'm, have I ever promised anything I'd never come through with? No. 
I'm, yeah, I'm just one, reading about the, the contraband tobacco unit that the, this, this police, government got rid of. Where your friends retire from the police force and get appointed no, to the Senate. No, I, I had nothing. I, well, uh, well, okay, so you can say the same thing with Carol Urquhart. He's, he's hired two or three Frederick police officers. He's hired two or three RCMP officers. These are good people, and they belong in that position. They get the job. We don't give them the job, Charles, and I'm telling you that straight up. We don't give them the job. We had nothing to do with it. They go through a process and they got it. Now look at him. The guy you say is my friend, and he is my friend, a good friend actually, Gary Ford. He's now the chief of police. Well, he's now the chief of police at Woodstock. Where we're at. And doing a where great. We're at. Where and we're at. Matt Meyer is working on that thing. Well, okay. We're okay. out of control. There Thanks very much, Charles, for dropping in on this snowy day. Yeah, excuse me a second. <laughs> so did you learn something new?